Hello everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you are all keeping well. It is extremely, extremely hot, which I can't deal with at the best of times, but being pregnant does not help. But anyway, we shall soldier on. Let me make sure you are. Yeah, okay. So, um, you guys saw me sitting outside and basically... I've created a little notepad, things that I want to have done before the baby comes. I have found myself waking up quite a few nights, um, just anxious about not being ready and the baby's about to come. And I know I've still got like almost eight weeks. It won't be eight weeks because I am going to have a schedule C-section. That Saying that, that is if the baby doesn't decide to turn up before that. So I don't know what this anxiety is about. Well, it's basically about not being prepared. I, if you know me, I like to be prepared. And the thing is, with Alex, I did not go through this. But then I did not know really what was coming. You know, with this baby, I do know. I do know the sleepless nights and how if I'm organized now, I will reap the benefits later. So one of my main things that I would like to do in the next couple of weeks probably is make some freezer meals. And I was just um, looking, because I know she's in her apron, she does loads of freezer meals. So obviously my freezer is not that big. We're a small family, it literally is for me and Paul a little bit extra for Alex if he will eat what we make. So I had a quick look and I've come up with them some ideas. Let me just, I'm gonna make some, and this is not today by the way, this is just me putting together something quick. Uh, so I'm gonna make some bolognese sauce and freeze it in different bags so I can just pull one out and out of that I can make Tater top casserole, which is one of my favorites. Bolognese, you know, as well with some pasta. Spoil some pasta and it'll be fine. I also saw the lemon mustard chicken that it's a, she's in a, it's not her recipe, but she made it as well. And then barbecue sh shredded chicken, which is like the simplest thing. It's just chicken and barbecue sauce. Put it in a slow cooker and you're sort of away, which I want to do that. I also wrote down ideas for quick meals because when you're trying to order food, you're like, what should I make? What should I make? And there's so many, you know, easy ideas. So burgers, you know, that's pretty easy. I can get them pre-made, you know, 100% meat or whatever. Just put them in a bun and that's quick. I can do that in my... Um, What's it called? Pie fryer, air fryer. Also ravioli is something, I say ravioli, tortellini, all that kind of pre-filled pasta. That's really easy. You can cook that up in like four or five minutes. I will buy um, maybe some sauce, but I, I love it just with a little bit of olive oil and garlic on top. I'll get garlic bread. I can get some sausages again, you know. So anyway, I was just getting ideas. The other thing that I do want to do is I want to make some carrot cakes to freeze. You guys know I lo we love carrot cakes, but it's also if I know someone is coming to visit. And I know at the moment we don't know what the future will bring, but I want to have something that I can quickly defrost, take it out. They will be super moist. They are so good. Um, defrosted you know they'll feel like fresh and i also want to make a couple of batches of waffles and um, that is for alex it's alex's favorite breakfast and they freeze super well so if i make a couple of batches you know when he's not getting as much attention or he just wants something really nice you know like it's nice to feel like i'm still pampering him that's one of my main concerns that is that he doesn't feel left out or you know you know what I mean. If you've got more than one child, I think everyone goes to the, through that. But that being said, I think I might have a go at making 
the waffles. I'm not gonna make carrot cakes. I do not wanna put the oven on. Not for now anyway, but another thing I wanna discuss is my hair. You guys can't really tell. Oh, there you go, there you go. <gasps> Look at it, the whites. I dyed my hair two weeks ago, you guys. Two weeks. I feel like this is a nature prank that I am not finding that funny, which is luscious hair when you're pregnant, growing loads, you know, so much so that I can't keep up with the dyeing of the hair. And then when the baby comes, it falls out in clumps and you get like patches. Why, why? Oh, well, I know why, you know, it's a joke. I know it's an, a hormonal thing, but so annoying that I just did my hair two weeks ago. Look at it. So yeah, anyway, let's see where this day takes us. Thank you for joining me. I have already been talking for six minutes, so let's go. Okay, so you guys saw me mix the waffle mixture. I actually doubled it, so there is lots. I will put the recipe below. This is a Thermomix recipe, but I'm sure there is the a normal non-Thermomix version of it. Like I said, I've doubled it. I've now got my waffle maker. This I will link below. It's from Amazon and it's worth every penny. I've had it for maybe almost two years and it comes with the waffle maker show you and then two different a panini and a sandwich maker uh, plates you just take the plates out and wash them out so anyway this is what i use just some coconut oil to spray to make sure it, it's non-stick this is the scoop i use i have a rack here so when the waffles come out they can dry out so they don't, they don't get all soggy, you know, from being hot and stuffy somewhere. That's the ideal thing to do when you're sort of freezing them. So let's crack on. Two bags with eight each for the freezer and I'll leave these out for Alex to have now. Oh, you guys, it is hot. It's 20 to two. It's a few days later since I last filmed for you. It's Friday today. And despite my better judgment, I took some mince out from the freezer to cook to make bolognese sauce. So I have to do it today. Um, I did it yesterday, so defrosted in the fridge. I'm going to cook that up to bag to put in the freezer. I also making fish tacos for dinner tonight. Sorry. Uh, so I've just took the fish out to defrost. Fish defrosts fairly quickly, hopefully. And I'm going to prep with the sauce. Yeah, and I want to make a peach cobbler for tonight as well. So let's go.
Okay, so I am making the peach cobbler. I'm going to assemble it and just then put it in the fridge so I can put it in the oven later on. I have already mixed all the ingredients. This, I really like this uh, recipe. I'll link it below. It's a BBC Good Food recipe because all the other ones I found take one, take a lot of butter and then always end up swimming in butter. Um, so I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Let me know in the comments if you know, but this one seems to work all right. So I'll link it below for you, but I'll just put it together and show you. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving so I wanted to show you what happens when I go to Morrison's with Alex. We ended up getting some mussels and lagostins, which look amazing. We're going to cook those tonight. And for all of these, you guys, we paid £6.60. In the frozen section, we got some cockles. And if you can see, we also got some raw easy peel shell on Argentinian red shrimp. These are massive. You can't see them very well and some scallops they were doing three for ten at the fish counter said the best way to cook them this was an old guy that used to apparently work at selfridge's fish counter mm -hmm. with no water sorry with no salt nothing on him just water and then once they're cooked still in their shell uh, and you drain the water off you sprinkle it with salt and that is it and then as you're peeling the lagostine the salt in your hands will get on the meat and apparently that's the tastiest way so that is what we're going to do So I've stacked it like that. I'm going to put it on a plate in the freezer just so it freezes flat and then I can move it around a bit better. But three lots of bolognese sauce done. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. So it's a completely different day. As you can see behind me, it's like 20 to 8. But um, I think I'm going to make some carrot cakes so I can freeze them. Just got a little bit of energy. I've done nothing all day. It's nice and cool. Let's get it done. I am actually going to leave the recipe for you guys below. The non-thermomix thermomix recipe so you can make it. Because I know most of you do not possess thermomix. And um, yeah, let's get going. Smoke is in the bathroom. I don't care at all, baby. You got my 
Here we are, ready for the freezer. So my friend Jill made me a tea loaf. Look at that. I am gonna slice it to thick slices and freeze it. Okay, so I know that for this one, you are probably thinking, really, really? But hear me out. So barbecue chicken, I have two chicken breasts. They're still frozen. In each bag that's enough for me Paul and Alex and I've got a bottle of sauce here which I'm going to divide between these two okay and then I'm going to put it back in the freezer and these will be quick to throw in the slow cooker. Now I know you're thinking really it's two ingredients why do you need to do that because listen to me how many times have you opened your fridge or freezer door looked at it and thought i've got nothing to cook i literally want to have everything ready so i don't even have to think about it when i'm sleep deprived when i say to paul just get a bag of barbecue chicken out of the freezer it's easy it's done it's one less step done hello everyone so i am just editing the video you've just watched and I realized I never finished it, never showed you how my freezer's looking. Also, I did not make the mustard chicken recipe because, believe it or not, twice I've tried to order, order the mustard from Tesco's and it was out of stock. But I'm sure I'll do that at a later date and I'll show you. But I want to show you first how the freezer is looking. Top shelf, I wanted to show you. I took some of those carrot cakes out. There's the other carrot cake. There's the tea loaf, waffles, and I've also got some banana bread, and this is where we keep the ice lollies. And then right at the bottom is where I keep all the meat and fish. So here's the bolognese and the barbecue chicken. And that is it for what I've done so far. I'll be sure to show you in another video if I do something else. I wanted to let you know that this is part one. So this is food wise. I'm going to do definitely a part two, which is showing you the last minute things I do to get ready for this baby. But for now, I want to say goodbye. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.